Hello, FSDE graduating class of 2020. Well, I was supposed to do some magic for you after the design expo, but of course that didn't happen. So what I'd like to do is perform some magic for you here tonight. So I prepared something very simple. It starts off with just a cup and a ball. And the first part is really more of an observation test. You see, I'm going to place the ball in the cup, shake it around, and it's your job to keep track of where the ball is at all times. So watch closely. The ball goes in the cup, we shake it around, place the cup on the table, and now it's up to you to say where the ball is. Now, of course, you can't really tell me where you think the ball is because we're doing this virtually, but I have some guesses about what you might be thinking. Some of you are probably very trusting and you think I left the ball under the cup, but some of you saw me do something suspicious and you're a little less trusting, so you think I snuck it away and maybe hid it in my pocket. Well, in this case, your suspicions are correct. I have stolen the ball from the cup. So the idea is you're going to have to keep track of this. And don't worry that if you were more trusting and you thought the ball was still there, that's fine. You'll have plenty of time to catch up. In fact, I prefer it that way. Uh, so you know what? Why don't we start from the very beginning with the ball under the cup? And we can go from there. Now, the trick that I really wanted to show you is something called expansion of texture. To do that, we also need a shot glass and a handkerchief. And the objective of this trick is to cause the ball to pass through the handkerchief and end up in the shot glass. Now the reason it's called expansion of texture is because we're, we need to cause the fibers in the handkerchief to expand and move apart, allowing that ball to pass right through. Of course, if I did it like this in this open configuration, you would be able to see exactly what happened at all points in time. It would be very mysterious. So instead, we're going to cover the whole thing with a cup. Now with just a snap of the fingers, the ball is gone, and passing through the handkerchief and going down into the shot glass. Um, well, you know, uh, sometimes the ball gets a little overly ambitious and instead of staying in the glass, it ends up jumping out and rolling and bouncing across the table invisibly and ending up back down in my pocket, like so. But that's okay. Uh, you know what, why don't we try it the other way around? So this time, we'll take the cup, we'll cover the glass, we'll cover the whole thing with the handkerchief, and we'll start with the ball down in the pocket. But this time, with just a snap of the fingers, that ball jumps out of the pocket, it hops through the air, it goes through the handkerchief, through the cup, and it ends up down in the glass, like so. Now, some people think that when I do this, I use an extra ball. And actually, that's true, I do have an extra ball, but it's not really much help. Well, I'll let you see. You see, this ball is so big, nothing else can fit in the cup when it's in there. So it's really not that helpful at all. What is helpful is having a secret assistant. And if you look closely, you may just be able to see him. Oh, hello. Congratulations, FSDE class of 2020. It was a lot of hard work, but you made it through. It was a true pleasure having you in my classes, and I want to wish you all the best with whatever comes next. Congratulations again.